Hi folks, it's Mr. Caden, uh, and I'm here to work with you on a quick workshop on project management. Uh, and I'm gonna explain to you what that is and what we're gonna be doing, uh, but I'm excited, so let's get started. So uh, here's some objectives for what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna start by uh, learning how to create and save something in, in what's called Open Proj, their Open Project Management Tool. Um, we're going to learn how to set up the environment to work on, and we're going to set up calendars and list resources, and we're going to enter our objectives and sub-objectives that we've been working on in advisory up till now. So here's how we're going to do it. We're going to start by talking about what's the purpose in doing all this project management, why are we planning in the first place, and then the other thing is like why would we use a computer, that's the second thing we'll talk about. And then we'll start learning about open project itself, how to open things, how to get started in there, and then we'll start setting up the calendar and a few other things. Uh, before you start adding the objectives and really getting to work. So let's get started. So the question is, in a big project like this, what's the purpose in really like going ahead and planning like this? Is there is there a lot of value in like making sure all of your T's are crossed and your I's are dotted? Well, if you think about big projects, a lot of times they're often only known for their failures. Take, for example, this bridge, right? Uh, they got to the middle of the river as the two bridges got towards each other and look, they were totally separate and you can see the guy right here with his hands out, like, what, what happened, okay? And, and, and if we don't plan things carefully, it's bridges like that or like this or these dead crops, if you're into planting or something like that, that, that will come back to bite us. That's why we have to plan ahead in general, right? But especially when we're talking about a big project, if you have lots of people working on it, lots of resources, a big time frame, it's incredibly important that we plan ahead. Okay, so for example, take my project from last year where we built picnic tables from scratch. If we hadn't planned ahead, we would have ended up with some junk like that for sure, falling apart. But now what they can do is they can handle, you know, 15 kids sitting on top of them at the same time. So you can understand why planning is a good idea. We did a lot of planning before those tables, whereas, you know, junk, just doing it, firing from the hip and, and not thinking about it is going to end up with some junk. So. The next question is, all right, Mr. Caden, like I've been planning for a long time without computers. I'm not impressed. What do I need to use a computer for just to like plan out a project? Big deal. Uh, well, I'm going to show you a tool that we're going to use to plan out our projects. It's called a Gantt chart, and maybe this will help us to see why computers are necessary. Okay, so let's talk. Let's start with a really simple project. Let's say Dave, our good friend Dave, is, is trying to build a model airplane. Okay, something really easy. Just a model airplane. So what does he have to do? He needs to go to the store and buy the kit got to buy some glue because he doesn't have any of that at home. He's got to glue the wings together. He's got to glue the body of the plane together. He's got to glue the wings and the body together to each other. And then he's got to paint it when it's done. So not that many steps, but a good number. It's an interesting project. You ever built model airplanes before? It's a lot of fun. Okay, so let's look at what's something that's called a Gantt chart. It's a good piece of vocabulary to have once you get yourself out into the workplace. You can say like, oh yeah, yeah, I know what a Gantt chart is. And bang, handshake, job. You don't even have to interview if you know what a Gantt chart is. Uh, and, and here's what it is. It's a very simple graph where time is on the horizontal axis. So if you go this way, you're increasing in time. On the left side is the very beginning, and on the right side is the very end of your project. Uh, so let's look at each of our little steps and how they would be represented on a, a chart. So for example, the first step in our steps for making this airplane is Dave needs to go to the store and buy the model kit. So we make a little block. It's going to take him a while. Say we don't have a scale here, but let's say that's like an hour or something. He's got to go to the store. Maybe he has to stop at the ATM and pick up some money. Okay. And so that means that that's going to take some time. Okay. It doesn't matter exactly how much it is for now. Okay. Meanwhile, we have a second thing. Well, he also needs to buy glue from the store. And those two things can happen at the same time, right? He can get the model and the glue at the same time. So it's going to take the same time. He's got to go to the store and get it. So those things can happen at the same time. Okay. The next thing he has to do is glue the wings together. Okay. But he can't glue the wings together until he's bought the stuff. So we can't put glue wings here because he can't start to glue the wings until he's finished buying the airplane. And so that means that the wings actually have to go over here because you can't glue them until uh, they're done being bought until you have the glue from the store. Okay, and that's called a dependency. That's called a predecessor. That means we can't glue the wings until we're ready to go back here. And of course, we also have to glue the body together. And this is interesting, right? Because gluing the wings, that takes some effort, right? You have to get in there with your little glue stick or whatever and, and glue it together. But there's also some time that you have to sit there waiting while the glue dries. And while that glue is drying, you can start to glue the body. Right, so let's say here I've glued the wings together 
but now I'm gluing the body together while the wings are drying. So sometimes you can have two things that, that happen at the same time, but maybe you don't start at the same time. Okay, and then we can't glue the wings and the body together until everything's finished drying. And then after that, once everything's finished drying, we can paint. Okay, so you can see this whole thing is going to take this much time. And here's the individual steps that make up that process. That's a Gantt chart, okay? It's pretty easy, right? You could do this by hand. In fact, engineers did do this by hand for a very, very long time uh, before they started using computerized tools to do it. Okay, so why computers? This seems easy, Mr. Caden. Like, you know, what? I could do this in my sleep. It's like, ain't no thing. All right, but let's say, uh, and this is the case, this is a real set of objectives, things that need to happen, and this isn't even the whole thing because I couldn't fit it on the screen, for an epics project this quarter where they're going to be making a movie about a, you know, a, a green superhero. Okay, you can see, you know, make a budget for the movie, buy materials for the bike, do, do repairs on the bike, finish building the bike, uh, finish designing some model that they're making. There's, there's a ton of different things that they're doing here in this project, and each one has its own thing. Each one has a different amount of time that it's going to take. Okay, and their Gantt chart, this is just a piece of it, looks something crazy like this. There are all these different pieces. It's unclear what can be done at the same time, what's dependent on other things, and that's just getting started, right? And if you want to try and figure out the way to do your whole project the fastest, well, you might have some trouble trying to figure out the optimal way to do it, and that's what the computer is there for you for. So that's why we're going to learn how to do open projects.